Okay, our winner is Shauna Flynn. Hands up if you don't have a smartphone. Hands up if you don't have a laptop. Technology is a vital part of our everyday lives. Everything is connected and has the ability to store and process vast amounts of data. How can these devices do this? It's due to the increase in computing power in the past decade. Computing power can be defined by the amount of transistors on a device. A transistor is a switch, just like a light switch. When it's on, it performs a task, like turning on your light. The more transistors on a device, the more tasks your device can do at the same time. In 1965, Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel, made a prediction that would define the computing industry for years to come. His prediction, now known as Moore's Law, states the number of transistors on a computer chip would double every two years. Until now, this law has shown to be true, with the number of transistors on a chip in 1975 being below 2000. The latest chip developed by Intel has 5.5 billion transistors. You're probably thinking, how do they get so many transistors on one single chip? Well, these transistors are so small, over 9 million of them can fit across the width of a full stop. For technology to progress, and for the internet of things to become a reality, you must get even more transistors on a device, and therefore transistors must become smaller. But how? The current way of making transistors is done by a laser. Each individual transistor is cut out from the surface of the chip. Can you imagine how long it takes to cut out 5 billion, and how much energy you need? We're reaching the limits of this approach. Is Moore's Law about to end after over half a century? My research explores a new way to make transistors, not by cutting them out one by one with a laser, but by building them up from the surface, just like Lego blocks. Let me tell you how it's done. Imagine we have a table covered in Lego blocks. Some of the blocks are blue and some of the blocks are yellow. They're entangled and mixed together. But when I give these blocks some energy, they want to move about and grouped together, but they're fussy Lego blocks. The blue only like the blue, and the yellow only like the yellow. So imagine, when they move, all the blue group together, and all the yellow group together. And when they do this, they form patterns on the table. I do this on a tiny scale, to form tiny patterns that then become components of transistors. The amazing thing about this approach is that these blocks do it all by themselves in a matter of minutes with very little cost or energy. Using this technique, you could triple the number of transistors on a computer chip. So 30 million could fit across the width of full stop. Moore's Law doesn't have to end. We could build the future of the computer industry block by block. Through my research I do in DCU, in collaboration with Intel, I'm going to develop this method to make transistors even smaller than they are today and for the internet of things to be a reality of the future. Thank you. Is this for you, Shauna? Well done. To, was it a bit of a shock? Yeah, yeah, a real shock. <laughs> so actually, Shauna, if I recall your video, you weren't in it. You created a full um, motion picture of Lego blocks and various things happening. So how, what was that leap from you know, being back behind the camera and not being in front of it to being on stage and presenting it? Um, yeah, that video, I didn't want to be in front of the, the screen doing it, so that's why I chose to, to film me off. It was very different to come in front of people and try and get a point across without using Lego blocks. But um, hopefully I did it okay and you understand a little bit more about making transistors smaller. Well, I think we definitely did. So big round of applause for Shauna. Thank you all. Buy this video from InspireFest, then click on the link to get your hands on ultra early bird tickets for InspireFest 2017 and make sure you're in the audience for this exciting international event.